Hey guys, hey, we're back at y'all with an April Favorites. I'm yeah, very excited. Yes, so we're going to go ahead and launch right into what our very favorite finds were for the month of April. Yes, we have about five each, so I'll, I guess I'll start with my first one. Um, it is the Origins Vitazing um, SPF 15. This is a great moisturizer with a really light tint. I got it from Macy's. I have been wearing it every single day since probably middle of March when I got it. And I'm not going to go into it too deep because I think Mindy and I are going to come back sometime soon and do a video solely on Origins products since we both love them yes. and we both have a lot. Yes. So. We're this pretty is, much converting all yes. of our skincare over to Oregon. And this was a good one. So Slowly but surely, we're <laughs> growing our collection. Yes. Okay, you want me to go? Your turn. All right. Y'all saw this in our Ulta haul. Um, it wasn't a video. It was just a kind of like a photo shoot of the loop that we got from Ulta. But this is the Philosophy Fresh Peaches and Cream Body Lotion. Absolutely love this. I wish that y'all could smell it. <laughs> it is really nice. Um, so if you have... Um, Oh, if you I have an Ulta near you, um, go check this out because this smells like something picked right off the vine. It smells like dessert. I know. <laughs> kind of makes me want like a peach cobbler or something. It's not good. It's not good <laughs> okay. okay. My next item, I'm going to stick with a Macy's purchase. And it's the MAC Lip Glass in Viva Glam 6. And it's a pink one that I showed in a haul and said that I went in to get the Viva Glam 5 and bought its sister. Mm -hmm. And I've been wearing it just about every day. And I even have it on right now. <laughs> I don't know if you see it, but I love it. It's the light pink. It's not too shiny. It's not too sticky. Love it. Yay! Very happy with my purchase. Okay. All right. This is a John Frieda Full Repair Touch Up Flyaway Tamer. And I love this product. I keep it in my cosmetic bag in my purse. It looks like a mascara <laughs> wand. It's great packaging. Um, but it is just the the fluid or the gel in it is totally clear but you just take the wand and you brush it I I use it on my part just to kind of smooth away the baby hairs and the flyaways and smooth them down this works remarkably well um, it does make my baby hairs lay flat and it's not like that once the product dries that all of a sudden they're back up and waving at you they really do stay down I don't it works. know I don't know how it works but it, it's a miracle so um, if you have the same problem I have with your baby hairs like saying, hey, um, go get this. It is great. And it's cheap. Yeah. So, um, okay, so my next thing, I'm going to do a bath product. And this is the Bali Mango Shower Gel from Bath and Body Works. And I don't think I've shown you, you guys this on a haul. Mm -hmm. um, I got it a couple weeks ago. And I know I didn't use it the entire month of April, and you can see that I've enjoyed it. And I don't have a huge tub, so I've actually used this a lot because anyone that knows me knows that I take like two hour baths all the time. I'm kind of a freak <laughs> about it. But this smell is awesome. And I don't know, um, I don't know how long it's going to be in store, so I'm probably going to go stock up. And I will say it is the, the gel, which I guess is more of a body wash, but I use it for a bubble bath. It's great. The bubbles last for a very long time. Cool. All right, and then I will show a Bath and Body Works <laughs> purchase also. This is the Slatkin and Company candles. They're the little three wick candles. And this is actually a week old yesterday. And you can tell that I have been burning <laughs> the crap out of this thing. It's the Peach Bellini. And I don't know, maybe I, is this a trend? This might be a trend. What's up with me and peaches? Okay. Um, yeah, I think I am going to eat a peach cobbler. I'm probably going to make it tonight. Mm, I don't know. It just smells so oh, good. Yeah. But um, What's great, though, is you can really smell a little champagne in it, which is... Yeah, Jamie loves champagne. I love it. She's still telling me. <laughs> All right, so anyway, if you haven't checked out these um, new candles from Slacken and Company, they're, they have a bunch of new like spring and summer scents out, and this happens to be one of my favorites. And, and I want that one. It smells up like my entire bedroom. And it's like the first thing that I do when I walk into my room um, when I get home at night is like this. That's why it's only like a week old, and I've already burned more than half of it. And it's awesome because sometimes they run the two for 20 sale. So. Yes. Um, my next one, you guys have seen twice. You've seen the Jennifer Aniston perfume in a haul video, and then I think you saw it on my tag, 11 Most Reached For Products. Um, I am not really a perfume girl. This is the first bottle of perfume that I've bought in a while, besides a philosophy one, which we'll talk about sometime later. But I literally have, you may not be able to tell, 
I have actually used this every single day since I bought it. Even I play on a co-ed football team on Sunday mornings and where it's not really a girly thing to do. Yeah, I spray this on. It smells, like I said, it smells like summer. It just smells like... You think you're going to like stop your opponent in his tracks? I'm because like, he's going to be like, smell me. I smell good. Oh my god, I can't tackle her. She smells too good to tackle. It's great. Yeah, maybe. I have a game tomorrow. I'm going to try it again. We'll see. There's a method to her madness. Okay, and then I wanted to feature a nail polish. This is the Essie Tarte, uh, Tarte Deco. It is a really pretty coral. I actually have it on my toes right now. Um, and it is like, I think I'm obsessed with coral. I think yes. pretty much everybody is obsessed with coral right now. But um, I love Essie nail polishes. I have quite a um, collection, and um, which you'll see later. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm gonna get her to we'll, film something. We'll do a nail polish collection. Yeah. Maybe we'll do a combined one. Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, um, if you like the new coral color for that's the big for spring and summer, definitely check check out the Tarte Deco. I think this is available at most Targets. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, I have one more, which is another. I don't know if I mentioned that the Jennifer Anderson came from Sephora, but it did, mm -hmm. and also got this maybe the same day. I think I may be, maybe it. Um, it is the 24-7 Shadow Pencil from Urban Decay in Wasteland, which I showed you guys before on a swatch. It's like a, a nice, really nice brown. It goes on really smooth. And it may not look like I've used it because I actually haven't used it as a shadow pencil, but I've used this baby as an eyeliner <laughs> like every day. I have it on today. I love it. I think it's my new favorite. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. Do you got one more? Are you? I do. I got one more. Cool. Okay. All right. This is um, another Neutrogena shout out. We did a Neutrogena uh, little favorite last month with the um, light sesame body oil and lotion. This is the Energizing Citrus Sugar Scrub Body Exfoliator. And I have had this for probably two and a half weeks or so. And um, I've used, used a lot. <laughs> I've used probably pretty much half. Um, it is the season for self-tanning, so yes. you want to make sure to exfoliate before you self-tan. Um, and this is a really good one. I like the way that um, it goes on, and as you rub it in in the shower, it kind of, you can feel the little beads in it just dissolving. Um, and it does leave your skin slightly oily, but as long as you wait until you're fully dry, once you get out of the shower to apply your self-tanner, you should be fine. Awesome. So, love cool. this. I have to check that one out so yeah. I can try it again. I didn't even do a haul video or anything on this because... It was just like a random Target purchase that I made that I didn't even know I was going to love, but I do. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's basically it. Um, we didn't have a lot of the same things, so we wanted to say, talk about one thing that we've been loving. And if you follow us on Twitter, you've probably seen some of our twit pics. Um, mm -hmm. Wrap bracelets. Leather wrap bracelets have been our favorite, and I know that Mindy showed, you showed this one in a haul video. Yeah, um, the petite confit haul. Petite yeah. confit. I'll let you. Yeah. Okay, so um, our bracelets here, Jamie is wearing the 200 Orchard in black, and I am wearing the white faux leather in sunny side. Oh, uh, it's the sunny side bracelet in white. Um, and these are both from Boutique on Feet, love and we them. just want to say hi, hi, girls, and thank you. We love you guys, we love them. <laughs> and we're definitely getting our wear out of them. Yeah, and we're gonna post a link below the video so yeah. you can visit too and see what awesome fun wrap bracelets and yes. other things that they have. Yeah, so. we wear wrap, a wrap bracelet <laughs> like every, every day. day. <laughs> okay, so cool. definitely go to Boutique on Feet and, and check I, out their yeah. stuff. And I hope you enjoyed our April favorites. Uh, we can't wait to start. Testing things out for May. I know. So. Cool. Thanks for stopping by and watching. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.